magnetite which is grayish in color a little pinkish gray in color which you can see on the left hand side of your screen is a necessary protective oxide that should be available in all the surface which is coming or which is interacting with water usually this particular protective oxide is formed by two methods of water treatment process one is the conventional phosphate hydrazine process and another is the abt process but abt reducing condition so abtr it is called abtr so with phosphate hydrazine treatment and abtr treatment we get the protective oxide of magnetite form in our system so how and when the magnetite is formed when we are using the treatment of phosphate hydrazine which is a conventional treatment or the all volatile treatment abt stands for all volatile treatment and abt r stands for all volatile treatment reducing under such condition we develop the magnetite protective oxide in our system the other protective oxide which is a little reddish in color not such gray color protective oxide is a little reddish in color it's called the hematite protection this happens to be a better protective oxide as compared to magnetite because it is more stable much more stable oxide and this is called the hematite oxide for a hematite protection or ferric oxide hydrated feooh protection and this protection is developed when we are using either abto or ot treatment ABTO stands for all volatile treatment oxidizing and OT stands for oxygenation treatment in most of the supercritical system all of your supercritical system they are either working with ABTO or gradually going to OT treatment in phosphate hydrazine treatment we are having an hp dosing of tsp or some amount of phosphate in other form or one form or other to maintain the ph and the phosphate in the ball of water and we are dosing hydrazine after deaerator so that is the phosphate hydrazine treatment in abt r treatment we are not using the tsp in the drum but we are using the ammonia and hydrazine dosing after deaerating now what is the difference between this treatment and abt o and ot in abt o and ot treatment we do not use the hydrazine at any point of time we are not using hydrazine as a reducing agent in any point of time right so in abto we are using only ammonia and nothing else in oxygenation treatment we are using ammonia and oxygen is dosed at certain points 